Scientists have captured graphic ultrasound images of the damage done to unborn babies as a result of women drinking during pregnancy. Just one glass of wine a week can make babies jump in the womb throughout a nine-month pregnancy. Experts believe this abnormal hyperactive behavior is the result of alcohol slowing or retarding the formation of the central nervous system. Doctors have warned for decades that women who consume large amounts of alcohol during pregnancy can affect their child's mental development. However, the new research suggests even moderate alcohol consumption makes a baby three and one half times more likely to suffer from abnormal spasms in the womb. The findings, by Peter Hepper, a professor at Belfast University's Fetal Behavior Research Unit, appear to back the view that there is no safe level of alcohol consumption during pregnancy. Hepper's findings have surprised child neurology experts. Between conception and 18 weeks, babies display a primitive startle reflex which causes babies to jump involuntarily in the womb at loud noises and other stimuli. However, once the nervous system is fully formed at 18 weeks, the reflex disappears in healthy babies and is replaced by a calmer adult reflex. Hepper found that the babies of mothers who drink, whether one unit a week or four, all continue to display a startle reflex throughout their pregnancy. The reflex in the babies of the non-drinking mothers tailed off at 18 weeks. The professor also found that the babies of women who drink suffered more startles during the first 18 weeks. Hepper, who published his findings in the Journal of Physiology and Behavior, concluded that even moderate consumption of alcohol had a serious effect on the formation of a baby's central nervous system. He explained, this indicates that the nerve pathways in the brain have been damaged. Hepper concluded, our study shows that alcohol is having an effect on the baby even at low levels and that is quite disturbing. We don't think there is a safe limit for alcohol consumption in pregnancy. Hepper's study appears to corroborate U.S. research, conducted after birth, which has shown that drinking during pregnancy lowers a child's IQ and increases hyperactivity. Some doctors believe the babies scanned by Hepper are showing the early signs of fetal alcohol syndrome FAS which is thought to cause a range of behavioral and neurological disorders in children. The Fetal Alcohol Syndrome Trust estimates that between 6,000 to 12,000 babies are affected in the UK each year. Margaret Burroughs, a clinical geneticist at Leicester Royal Infirmary, said, the startle movement in the womb is clearly not normal and would seem to indicate the child has the traits of fidgeting which we see in attention deficit hyperactive disorder. We believe that a proportion of children who have ADHD may have developed it as a result of their mother's drinking during pregnancy. The next stage of Hepper's study will monitor whether the babies go on to suffer mental and behavioral problems.